Hello friends, welcome to Costing Tips and Tricks with KSJ Teaching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important tips and tricks that we share with you people. And do not forget to hit the like button and share with all your friends. Okay, so what is tip number one? The tip number one is a life tip. So the first tip that I'm going to tell you is a very important life tip. Sir, invest today. Invest today for a brighter tomorrow. Invest today for a brighter tomorrow. So what does it mean? A very simple meaning that if you want better results in the tomorrow, you must make some investment today. Right? And I will say for the costing subject, if you want to make the right investment, then you are at the right place. You have invested your time in watching our YouTube videos, which have the free content, absolutely free content, where you will be getting the abundance of knowledge and you must have achieved it. You must have shared with all your friends, right? The another thing that you can invest is you can invest the time in the ICI SM series and the all rounder course that is available on our Android app. The links are in the video description. Do not miss out on those courses because those courses have been specially designed to take your marks from 40 to 80. So that is a journey that we are, uh, you know, going through in those courses. So the, in any of the courses, I will say in any of the subjects, I will say, if you want the better results for tomorrow, you must invest something right without putting in some money in the bank, you cannot ask the bank to pay you the interest. Isn't it if you are investing something only then the bank will pay you the interest. The same goes for the life if you are going to invest something only then you can aim for the better results. Now second tip subject related tip. It is uh, related to standard costing today. Let's talk something about standard costing. In the standard costing or the variance analysis that we say one very common query that is related to uh, that is related to fixed overhead variances. Fixed overhead variances. What is that query sir? Related to fixed overhead uh, variances. What is the query? The query is difference between difference between standard and budgeted difference between standard and budgeted so i'll tell you in a very simple words uh, i'll just prepare the table like we have uh, prepared like we are used to prepare so the first thing that we take is standard hours or st okay i'll use the words hours wait a minute i'll use standard hours for actual output then we take standard rate, then we are saying standard cost. Then we say actual hours, actual rate, actual cost, right? Then we say budgeted hours, budgeted rate and budgeted cost. This is what we, uh, this is what we do. Now, sir, what is the difference between these two things? The standards and the budgeted. Oh, otherwise, if we talk in the general sense, we use these words interchangeably right but here what does it mean try to understand very carefully these budgets are being set for the standard quantity that is what you originally planned for this is for standard output of finished goods right that you plan to manufacture 10,000 units of FG and what are the standards for this 10,000 now if you say your actual is actual output is 9000 units of FG right so these standards are for the actual output and these are for the standard output what you originally planned for so this is the difference between budgeted and the standards the standards are being set for the actual output and the budgets are being set for the standard output okay so another name that is given to this is if you talk about the standard cost it is also known as absorbed cost absorbed overheads right these are your actual overheads right and these are your budgeted overheads so these are the terms commonly used in the ICI study mat also. There also I have cleared all these things that what is absorbed overheads, what is budgeted. So ab absorbed overheads is standard rate multiplied by the quantity for actual output. What is whatever is the actual output 
we have calculated for the actual output that is my absorbed overheads so one is actual another one is observed another one is budgeted overheads right so that is the major difference between the two things budgeted for the standard output standards for the actual output okay so this was another tip that i wanted to share this was some of the clarification some of uh, you know the points that might come to your mind whenever you are studying so we are clarifying those things in this series so do not forget to share with you with your friends okay so see you guys in the next series with some more tips stay safe stay healthy keep studying keep sharing thank you so much